Now let's continue our studies on the causes of the disease. Now let's talk about cold. Cold locks warm, creates a slow or immobile landscape. So we have two causes of cold, external and internal. External comes with wind. There is a feeling of cold, blankets, no more chills than fever, curled up, contracts under activity, slow blocks, blocks pores, no sweat, the surges are clear or white. In meridians and muscles, it contracts, causes pain that is cramping or sharp and severe. It responds to the application of heat, vacuity of chi, in case of deficient cold. Sa internal naman, uh, merong feeling of cold, blankets help hands, feet, or whole body curse up, under active slow movements, slow functions of organs and systems of the body, like metabolism and digestion, difficulty relating in relationships, pain in organ cramps, sharp vacuity of chi, blood. Then in excess type, diet, deficient type, gene overwork, which leads to deficiency of chi or blood. Next is heat. Yin or yang, cold and heat can turn into each other. Creates an agitated landscape. Heat is a normal aspect of the body. In external heat, uh, there is a feeling of hot, more fever than chills. No blankets, sweats, discharges are red or yellow. Then color of face, eyes is red. And fire poisons, inflammation can dry up or consume the yin and, has, and can feel hot. In external, there is a feeling of hot, no blankets, no sweats. Extended posture, fast movement, pain feels like burning if excess tight. There is restlessness, hyperfunction of body systems and organs, insomnia, dry stools, eyes, profuse bleeding, and in deficient, there is anxiety, acute or prolonged emotional problems, cause heat, rising symptoms, BP, and migraines. Next is dampness. Not as clear a distinction between internal and external dampness. Dampness is an external pernicious influence that quickly becomes part of the landscape and is very difficult to treat, can also be generated from the interior. Characteristics include wet, heavy, and slow. Transformations get bogged down is caused by and affects the spleen, particularly the digestive system, like nausea, vomiting, loose tools, lack of appetite, and overweight. Combines with heat in the exterior of the body and in the organs. Combines with cold, especially in the organs, like uterus, stomach, and intestines. Manifest in the limbs and lower part of the body, like heavy, numbness, achy, and edema. Pain is diffused without clear boundaries, soft, muscle flesh, and muscles. Non-physical, like quarry, too many thoughts, holding on, and clingy. Next 